Hello there. This is Sura dialing in from Chicago, Illinois, and I wanted to share briefly this morning about how coaching and meditation can help you shift stress very quickly. And something that happens with certain states like worry, stress, anxiety is that it begins to build very subtly in the background for us in our mind, in our body. And as it begins to, hi there, as it begins to, to build up, what happens is all of a sudden we're overcome with tension. We feel like we're tied up in a lot of knots. And the key to managing stress is to constantly be aware, is to just be present and the way meditation helps us is that it raises our self-awareness. It raises our awareness of what's happening internally. And yes, I'd love to answer your question, Bisky, um, after this brief talk. That's a great, great, great question. Um, so it helps us to raise our internal self-awareness. And I'll give you an example of what happened this morning for me is I have a, a meeting coming up and I looked outside this morning and I saw that it was snowing and I'm also driving a, quite a far distance today. So I started to feel, uh, and I wasn't really tuned in, but I started to feel a little anxious about what the weather was going to be like, if I was going to be able to, to drive this long distance. And I was on the internet checking the weather and I was sort of going about my regular morning um, ritual. And when I suddenly realized that I was feeling anxiety, a little bit of worry, and that it was just in the background, it wasn't really in the fore foreground of my experience, but it was more in the background. So I just stopped. And this is how coaching can help. I stopped and I asked myself, what am I worried about? What, you know, what am I fearing? And as soon as I directly asked the question, it helped to dispel all of the worry and all of the fear because what I was worried about was driving in, um, driving in snow and it's not safe and it could be potentially dangerous. Maybe I won't be able to get to my next destination, but these worries aren't really a huge concern because I can do something about it. I don't have to drive. What's the worst that would happen? And that's another great question coaching question is just asking what's the worst thing that can happen and when you address those questions directly it dispels all the energy that's kind of going on in the background and what meditation does is it helps you reset and recenter yourself so that you have more self-awareness to go about your day and feel fully present because these other states of being like worry and anxiety and stress, they keep us from being fully present and fully there. And when we feel like we're kind of not all the way there, we can start to ask these questions. You know, what's keeping me from being fully present right now? Well, I'm thinking about this thing in the back of my mind, the story keeps going on. Well, what is it about the story that I'm not resolved with? And these questions where you go to the source of that emotional state that you don't prefer to be experiencing can help us move through those experiences more readily and really come back to presence, come back to this moment. So I just wanted to share that with you and I had a question um, that I wanted to address which is have I ever had mental health issues? And I think we all to some degree have, you know, we all suffer to some degree with certain issues. And I've definitely had stress in my life. I've had tension. Um, I haven't you know, had a formal diagnosis of anything health related mentally. Um, I have dealt or, or I have um, worked with people that have had mental issues in the past. So I have some familiarity, some experience. And you know, there was one time that I worked with a client and she expressed to me that she had been Googling schizophrenia and she was really concerned. And she said, Sura, I think I have this condition called schizophrenia. And she was so serious and I said, hey, you know what? <laughs> 
first of all, she didn't have, I, did, I didn't feel that she really had that condition. But secondly, I told her, you know, many people have these forms to subtle degrees. If you um, are, if you change your mood, your personality from work to home, well, yeah, that's a subtle form of schizophrenia because you're changing your role, your identity to cope with that certain situation, to deal in certain situations. So you might notice that um, some people, or even yourself included, that we, we go into situations where one personality and then we change to another personality. And this is, you know, there are, there are varying degrees to which we have these different tendencies. And what I feel meditation and coaching can really help us um, receive is a connection to our own wholeness, a state of inner wholeness, and coming back to our true self. Um, so I do feel like this is our, our natural birthright. Some of us are you know, more inclined to certain conditions just based on our constitution. Some of us come in with more um, fragile nervous systems, more delicate nervous systems. So we might be more sensitive to what's going on around us. And a lot of people that often suffer from mental illness have a more delicate nervous system. Maybe they are more, um, there's less of a veil between different dimensions and their own reality. I mean, there's many reasons. Oftentimes, people that are more spiritually oriented have been misdiagnosed as having um, you know, a mental illness rather than helping them cope with their spiritual experiences. So I hope this helped answer your question. And if there are any other questions, feel free to ask. Thanks so much for listening. I hope this was a helpful example for you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.